Hi everybody, it's Carolyn Murphy and I'm live on Carol's Beauty Box. So how are you when you come on? I just remembered I forgot coffee. I'll be right back. Hang on a second. We'll just put you down there a little bit. There we go. Whoops. We'll go like that. Yeah. I'll be right back. Hold on. When you come on, say hi. Forgot my coffee. Okay. Sorry, I'm just about on time here. So, let's see how we can do that. Is that good? When you come on, please say hi. I have most of my makeup on. I just need to do the base face. So, I realized that I was, um, well, I'm just on time now. Anyway, I was doing something and forgot about the time. So, when you come on, say hi. Let me try and get this situated here. Let's see if we need... Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> this thing's just not doing it right. There we go. So when you come on, please say hi. I think that thing is loose. Let me try a little brighter. Okay. So what's going on? How are you? Just trying to keep it from... I think it just has to... Get tightened there. Oh, okay. Needs to be tightened. There we go. Okay. So, how are you? What's going on? So, I already primed my face with the Touch Glorious Face Primer. So, I thought I'd just come on and do a base face uh, using the BB cream because that, along with a face mask and finishing powder, is our kudos this month and you get 30 percent off so it's a great deal so this is a bb cream and i use bisque i just get my hair out of the face here and you can mix it with the uh, concealer and that will give you more of a coverage but i'm just going to use the bb cream so i just want an even skin tone you see how red it is and everything so you shake it up. And I like to put it on my wrist here. I'm putting a little bit more on because I want a little more than light coverage. So we'll go to medium coverage. So when you come on, say hi. have my coffee and my water here. So I'm going to dab it on with the liquid foundation brush, then go in with a blending bud to get it all over. And weather is nice out today. And I just got back from lunch, had lunch with my sisters. I had a good time. It was great to see them. Shout out to my sisters. <laughs> so... What I like to do is just let the BB cream, this is a tinted moisturizer. So if you have dry skin, this is for you. And I like to make sure it's all over here. You get some of the ears too. Get down here. So I like to make sure it's damp. Right now it's dry. So you can either use rose water or I use the setting spray because this way the setting spray doesn't go into the, um, doesn't go into the sponge, the blending bud. And you just get it damp. Now what it does, it moves the product around without getting, and I have a mirror over to my left. So I look and make sure everything is okay. Get the ears too, down here. So when you come on, hi Becky, how are you? Good to see you. 
How's your little one? I bet she's adorable. <laughs> I'm loving your pictures. So this is the BB cream. And I'll show you what I did with my eyes. And I love our eyebrow eyeshadow palettes. And I used palette number one, but I'll show you that after I get this done. So you go down, make sure everything is done. And if you wanted, you could add more. You could add concealer, but I'm okay. See, this is very light coverage for me, but at least I know I'm getting moisture in my skin, so. And it's blended in nicely. So another thing is to set this before I put any blush on or anything, I will use the setting spray again. I use the blending bud just to go around to set it. And I can set my eyes too and the eyebrows. I use the eyebrow palette for my eyebrows. And get these. So tell me how your day is going. And if you do not see this red live button on, then you're watching on the replay. And that means if you can let me know, it means you're not live, but if you can let me know that you watched on replay, that will be wonderful. So the kudos is your choice of any face mask, your choice of color in the BB cream, which I have over here, and your choice in color of our finishing powder. Now the finishing powder will go on after the setting, after the blush and everything. And this has an SPF 25, which is really cool. So, and the, and the thing is you need to apply it every two hours just to keep, if you're out in the sun for like four hours, when you're out in the sun two hours, just apply it again on the face. So that's the setting. So this is all set. And the blending bud is dry. So what I wanna do is go in with spirited blush. This is our darker um, blush. Hi, say hi when you come on. Let me know you're, you're um, on. So this is very pigmented. You just need a little bit. And look at that. It's a little bit of blush. Just gives you a little color. See that? A little bit more. And see, it gives you a nice dewy finish. That's what I like about the BB cream. And it seems to put the dewiness where we need it, or where I need it anyway. So, anyway. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Talking and doing that. So you put this on the apple of your cheek. Then we'll use a little highlighter, if I can find it here. Oh, we can use the taffeta as a contour. This is pretty cool. I have taffeta foundation. This is a little dark for me, so I can really use it as a contour here. And it goes right in your crease there. Okay, that's not going down. There we go. So we'll do that with a kabuki brush there. Blend that in. Look like I have a little cheekbones there.
Okay, we'll probably have to, that's a little too low there. Just going to cover that up with some BB cream. So who's here? Please say hi. A little too low here. So we're putting a BB cream back under there. Have to set that again, but that's what happens when you uh, make a little mistake there. There we go. Use the rest of it up. Okay. It's a blending pot. Just some more setting spray to make it damp. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. So what's your day like? Let me know what you're doing today, what you've done. I worked until nine today, came home, then went out to lunch with my sisters. That was nice. And got back a little while ago, so that's cool. So what I used on my eyes was palette one I started with Chipper, then went in with um, uh, Elated on the darker, the dimension, then went in with Swanky. And um, this is one look. I like these because you can get many different looks. Like I've used Chipper and Forthright and oh, Elated on the top here, so. And then um, I've used it Smitten, and I've used um, the other one. This is, oh, uh, sincere, sincere, sincere and Brassy. Yeah, Brassy I like on the lips along with Swanky. But today it was Swanky. Hi, Donna, how are you? Good to see you. So this was palette one. And I did my eyebrows with the Brow Obsession palette in Brunette. And you see this is really used well. <laughs> so, how are you? Yes, you caught me. Thank you. Good to see you. Just fixing up some things I did here. I was trying to contour with the Taffeta um, foundation. And... It went down a little too low, so I put the BB cream back on. Now I gotta set it. Just set what I put on there. And I added a little uh, spirited blush, and I didn't do a highlight yet. How are you, Donna? How's the weather? Thank you, yeah, this is palette one. And um, I used uh, Brassy, or um, no, uh, Swanky on the lid. I did Chipper as the, con uh, the uh, contour, or the transition, and Zealous as the contour. So it came out really good. And then I put um, Elated in the highlight under the brow and tried to do it here and here. So... Yeah, one coat Epic Waterproof, two coat 3D, 4D Fibers, the Epic 4D Fiber Lash Mascara. So, that's it. Now we'll do a lippy. Let's see. I haven't used opulence in a while, so I'm just going to reach over here if I don't knock anything over. I think I haven't used Pretentious, and this is a pretty, with the glasses, it doesn't look as um, overpowering. Sorry, I have an itch. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> Let me lower the light a little bit. So, um, but yeah, this, this is nice. I like this look. So, let's see. See if I can find Pretentious. Pretentious. 
Oh, it's right, the first one. This is pretentious. This is the opulence lip. And for the liner, I will use Perky. Okay. A lip liner is good to keep the lipstick within the lines and doesn't melt, make it melt over. Thank you, I feel beautiful. So this is perky and we'll do pretentious. Look at this color, isn't that pretty? It's more of a purplish red, I think, on me anyway. And it depends on your lip um, pigment. But look at that. Isn't that nice? And they have nail polish to match. If I was good at painting my nails, or this was a limited edition, kudos. I mean, uh, limited edition November Thanksgiving Day special. Or it was, the, you know, the nine days of deals. But look at this. This is the nail polish. Very nice, very nice. I'll paint one nail just to show you, see how it matches, okay? Oh, I like that. Of course, I have trouble painting the nails and that's even the good hand I'm using. <laughs> so, kind of matches, huh? <laughs> I just put my finger on my face. Okay, so now we set this all with the setting spray. And what we can do is I've learned to use half squirts because it's not as much of a spray. So you do half squirts. You still get wet, but not as wet as if you did the full spray. So. Well, this was limited edition, so they don't have it now, but they did when, when I bought it for um, thanks, the Thanksgiving Day sales or Black Friday sales, so they did have it, but they don't now, but look at that. Pretty close, and it's got the sparkly like the lipstick does. Anyway, so thank you for joining, and if you found this of value, please sprinkle to your friends and, and let them know about it. And if you're new to my channel, new to my uh, page, it, feel free to tap anywhere on my face and click follow. Then the three dots in the upper right hand corner, click there and, get, and turn notifications on. Then you won't miss my lives. So thank you all and have a great day. Bye.